Look at that. Breakfast is changing. I have lots of yogurts and lots of nuts, but, um, and so that'll probably be back, and it'll probably make an appearance today throughout the day as a snack, but this is going to be breakfast. They're really good, and if you don't inhale them, they will, they're thick, you know, take your time, chew them, enjoy the moment, and, uh, I'm having it with my coffee. I love it. I love it. So, very satisfying. Hey guys. Okay. So, like, let me just talk to you. I answered Case Smart. She asked me um if people have treated me different since losing the weight. And I answered her. But then I started to think and I wanted to revisit that real quick. Or nothing's really quick. You know I talk. Let's be honest. Okay. Um here's the thing. I think that it's it's multi-layered. Have I changed? I have changed. Um, I am more, <clears throat> I guess actually, I have not changed. I am who I am, but other, like, I'm more able to be that person. So that kind of affects how people treat me, one. And two, their perception of me has changed. Um, like the banana, the banana a while back was like, I can't remember what was happening, but she was like, you're so dressed up. And I was like, I'm not dressed up. I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans. I used to wear a t-shirt and jeans all the damn time. Now, not all the damn time. Cause when I got really, really big, as soon as I got home, I put on a pair of pajama pants because elastic was my friend. Actually, it was my frenemy. Elastic was my frenemy. I thought it was doing me a favor, but really it was fucking me over. Anyway, so, but seriously, and the reality is that, uh, let me show you. Okay, so that was me in a t-shirt and jeans. Nowadays, a t-shirt and jeans looks way cuter than that. And I'm not trying to be ugly. I'm just saying, when you are big, it is so much work just to look, like, in other people's eyes, decent. It's like, you know, okay, you can get up, shower, do a little bit of makeup, dress yourself in, a, in, in jeans and a t-shirt, and nobody thinks anything of it. Like, you're just a fat girl who walked through the room. If you want to be noticed, then your nails, hair, makeup, everything has to be done to the tens. Like perfect and then they're like oh she's a fat girl who really takes care of herself though oh but she's like a clean fat girl because you know we're all dirty um oh you know but she's so and it's like seriously so so if you're skinny you can roll out of bed stick your hair in a trashed out bun uh you know wear your pajama pants to the grocery store and that's acceptable but if you're big then you're a sloppy lazy mess and that's really kind of fucked, but that's the reality. So automatically people's perception of me has changed. Okay. You, they uh, think automatically cause I all like, they automatically think that like I put more work into myself. Then there is a tiny bit of truth to that. I do put a little more work into myself now because I feel like I stopped wearing makeup because I felt like a big fat clown. Like, like, probably not <clears throat> until like, I still wore my red lipstick on and off. Like, I would go through a phase where I'd be like, I'm wearing it, you know? And then I'd catch a picture of myself and be like, oh, I look like a big fat clown. Um, but now I wear it all the time. So it's like, why are you wearing makeup to go to the grocery store? Because bitch, I always would. The end. And I'm, that's not for the banana. I'm just saying, like, that's just how it is. Um, you know, my hair. I always dyed my hair. I always fooled with my hair. But then I always felt like, seriously, this is so stupid, but I always felt like, like, my hair was so, my, I have, I have very thin, fine hair. And it actually got worse when I lost weight because I lost a lot of hair, but whatever. Um, but I always felt like I would do my hair and then it would just look like 
like a triangle, like spreading out over my fat. So I would just shove my hair up in a ponytail. Um, now I wear my hair down. Now, you know, it's like, yeah, I do my hair. Um, I don't know. Like, I think also I've always been, okay, hello, go back, go back in the videos. I've always been a little nutty, loud, and kind of obnoxious. And I also consider myself funny. Uh, now, a lot of my jokes don't work because they were all fat girl based. And if I said them now, I'd probably get slapped by um, someone who has not yet lost their weight. Um, unless they knew me. But, like, I mean, I've, I'm, I'm sarcastic. And I have a very dry, kind of, like, biting sense of humor. And I'm quick. So, like, I, I think I'm funny. Most of the people around me think I'm funny. Uh, people are changing that though. It's like, you know, you just always have to be the center of attention. No, I don't. I've always been loud and ridiculous. I'm a Sagittarius. Um, you know, oh, you know, somebody, a family member was like, it's not all about your size, you know. I wasn't even talking about my size. I was hopping around talking about something completely different. Obviously, it's about my size to you, bitch. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's like, they think, oh, you know, she thinks she's cute or whatever, so she's got to get loud and she's, you know, has to have I. It's not about attention. It's who I am. I am loud. Since I was a wee tot in school, I can't tell you how many times I got in trouble because I don't have an indoor voice. Well, I don't have one. I mean, I think that I'm whispering, but nobody else thinks that I am, which is weird. So anyway... And, you know, I, I have always been quick and I always have like, you know, over talked or stuck my opinion in and, you know, but now all of a sudden it's like, mm, mm -hmm, look at her. She thinks cause she's skinny. Seriously. And then I, I have inspired other people, other family members to work on their lifestyle and it is not about size if you go back to my hungry for more I can't remember which one it was but one of my older addiction videos I say in the video I will never be a size six I don't want that I just want to be healthy I had no idea I was not aiming for a size I am not trying to get into smaller jeans it's not about that but that's See, to other people, that's all it's about. It's like, mm-hmm, she ain't gonna be satisfied. Like, now all of a sudden it's like, mm, well, I just think she's pushed it a little too far. Oh, well, I mean, she's just obsessed with it. No, I am obsessed with feeling good, because I feel good. Now, that's another thing that's probably changed. I, I mean, I've always been outgoing and loud and ridiculous, but I always had very little stamina. Now it's like, I can do this all fucking day long bitches like we can roll cuz it ain't gonna run out I'm not gonna like get tired and have to go sit down like you know whatever but I don't know it's not about size it was about health which I think is what burns people the worst is it's like you know what are you doing like you know you you're just getting kinda crazy and people will be like and I actually had like a, a person who used to know my family and I haven't seen it in a while be like Oh, but you're gonna stop, right? Because you're looking kind of too thin. There ain't nothing on me too thin. There is nothing on me too thin. Um, I mean, and I'm not trying to get thinner and thinner and thinner. And I'm very aware. Like right now, today I think I weighed in at 136.2. Okay. I am very aware that when I get a tummy tuck, that's going to take a couple pounds off and I'll be around 130. My original goal was 125 to 130. I don't know if that is still it because I don't really like what happens to some skin issues. But I'm eating really healthy. I feel really good. I feel better than I have felt in the past couple of months because I found my way back to really eating the way I like to eat. And I'm like, well, I mean, I always said my body will stop. You know, I'm not starving it. I'm not underfeeding it. So, you know, I think that it will find its natural medium. I ha I anticipate last time I got to around 135 and then I just kind of coasted between 135 and 40, 140. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know. But I'm happy. And I'm not trying to get smaller. But if I did, suck it. 
I'm still going to be who I am, and you're still going to be better, unless you get over yourself and make some changes that make you happy. And that's how I feel about it. And it's like, maybe that comes off as bitchy. It's it's not. And it's it was just, I was thinking, I was like, well, you know what? Other things have changed. And maybe I have changed a little bit, because now it's like, I can go put on the clothes I want to put on. And like, okay, I've always been somebody who, just like red lipstick, and like in you know, my mascara, I like to get dressed. I love, I have my own style, and I love to get dressed. Like, that's how it is. So, if I'm going to the grocery store, or if I'm going to hang out, you know, or whatever, I like to be dressed. Of course that all, now it's like, oh, mm -hmm. she had to wear that dress because she's skinny. She wanted everybody to know she's skinny. No matter what I fucking wear, you're going to be able to tell I lost weight. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Wait, no, I'm not. Mm, not sorry. But anyway, you know, like, that's just how it is. Now, would I have worn a dress? Um, probably, yeah, actually I would have. It just would not have looked as cute, and so it would not have bothered you. That's all it is. And I think it's so crazy that people have known me my whole life are so willing to, like, forget that I've always liked to be loud. I've always been crazy. I've always liked to get dressed up. I mean, I have pictures, bitches. Come on. So, I think it's it's definitely a perception thing. Like, they feel like you're rubbing their face in it. And it's like, really, you can't do anything but live your life. So, if people are going to be bitter and upset, then that's, that's on them to make their changes and to figure out who they want to be. There you go. The yogurt and I'm using almond slices today making its appearance happy snack a 100 calorie pack of almonds these are so good so lunch today probably looks a lot like dinner yesterday cuz it's the exact same thing uh, I talked about this guy being kind of high in sodium well higher than I would normally eat and but you know what he's so good and I drank all my water, so I'm doing it. And I think I might go get some wasabi for these peas. Oh, yum. Sugar cookie tea, the finest tea in the whole wide world. I think it's called sugar cookie sleigh rider. Maybe that's gingerbread. I don't know. I'll show it to y'all guys. I think I have before, but I'll show it to you again. Get it from Walmart, and I love it. And a cup of grapes. A true cup. See, there's the ugly measuring spoon. I took it out the picture, because doesn't that look so much cuter? Oh. Yeah, having an apple, Christmas cookie and almond milk, so delightful. Skinny cow ice cream, it's the caramel. I totally missed showing y'all dinner because I was on the computer with Ashley and I haven't talked to her in so long, I was totally excited. So I have a runny nose because dinner was stir fry, because I love stir fry. Wasabi. Lots of wasabi. It was so good. So I'm wearing my Saints necklace. Okay. And let me tell you, I'm going to tell you my little, like, this week's sports fantasy. I'm going to get married to, um, Darren Sproles. And we're going to be happy. And we're going to adopt little pit bull puppies. Rescue them. And... I'm going to get a big 43 tattooed on my thigh, and I'm going to get, like, the portraits of our our favorite pit bull puppies all around it, and on my other leg, I'm going to get sprolling with my homies written. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be so cute. Totally. And we're going to have little babies who are going to look like little tiny Jimmy Grahams, because I have the redhead white, white skin. Uh, jeans, not that I have actually brown hair, but redheads run in my family, and yeah, see, oh, it's gonna be fabulous. So we're watching the Saints game, and it's so I'm so tired, so tired that I feel like I'm cross-eyed. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I answered any questions, but I did have a little bit of a rant, so there you go. 
I'm going to try to get all the questions wrapped up by the end of this week. And today's exercise, I um, hula hooped and zumba and hula hooped and danced um, in my bedroom with the banana. So it was actually really, really fun. Alright guys, see you later tomorrow.